Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure IPv6 address to host as well as routers. Uh, for this I'm using Cisco Packet Tracer software which is provided to Cisco Academy students. So the first thing I'll do here is I go to, I have the following IPv6 addresses that I specified for PC0, uh, IPv6 address for PC1 and an IPv6 address for the interface to be assigned to the interface of router 0. Now here we have LAN, a local area network, and we want all these devices or nodes to communicate using IPv6 addressing. So we know that IPv6 address is made of two parts, the prefix side as well as the interface ID. So the prefix uh, part is what is referred as network address in IPv4, and the interface ID is referred to as host ID in IPv4. Uh, in IPv6, we don't have subnet mask. Instead, we refer the uh, prefix portion of the IPv6 address using this notation slash 64, where 64 represents bits in the prefix or the length of the prefix in terms of bits. So, of course, we know that the IPv6 address is 128 bits. 128 bits. Now, if 64 bits will go to the prefix, it means the remaining one or 64 other bits will go to the interface ID portion of the IPv6 address. Uh, now, in order to start that, we have to mention something. So every time you deal with IPv6 addressing, you have to be aware that uh, a host or a node configured with IPv6 address might have more than one IPv6 address, not only single IPv6 address, but you can configure one, two, three, any number of IPv6 address suitable to be assigned to that node. This is one. The second thing, Every node, when, when, when dealing with IPv6 address, it will have, by default, a link local address. Generally, link local addresses will start with this prefix, FE80. Okay, these are the link local addresses. So, even though you did not configure your, uh, your host with an IPv6 address, and it supports IPv6, IPv6 addressing through the protocol stack, the, your host will already have been uh, has assigned an IPv6 address FE80 double count and slash uh, 10 where 10 specifies number of bits in the in the prefix or the length of the prefix now having said so let's move now let's start configuring our host so let's go to PC0 I go to IP configuration and here I decide to start a static IPv6, uh, IPv6 assignment of the IP address. So here I put the my IPv6 address. So you see it's quite long IPv6 address, right? And finally the interface ID. So what I specify up to now is the prefix address. And after that, I'm going to put the interface ID, but you see the interface ID is mostly all zeros, except the last bit, which is one. Here I specify the prefix length, 64 bits. Uh, I can also put link local address. So for the link local address, for example, I can put uh, FE80. Normally it comes by default, but in this case, uh, I can specify my link local address as, as being FE80 double column 1. And for the default gateway, I put the IPv6 address assigned to the router, 2001, okay, column. Okay, I fill the remaining part of the IPv6 address and at the end I put ABCD which is the uh, interface uh, ID. So let's check that. Alright, so this is the same. Now let's move to PC1. We'll do the same thing with PC1. I go to IP configuration and then decide to assign IPv6 address. Same thing. I fill this field with the uh, IPv6 address that normally will go to PC1. Okay. After that, I put the interface ID. And of course, I have to specify the prefix length, which is 64. The link local address, I might say, okay, I, I put it FE80, double column 2. And IPv6 gateway, uh, I put the IP address, IPv6 address 2001. All ones here. All ones. Okay. And finally, it will be ABCD, right, like this. I have configured my PC1, or the second PC of the LAN, with its IPv6 address. What is left now, I have to go to router R0, router 0, 
and assign to it the IPv6 address. So which interface I'm using here, I'm using interface faucet and 0 So let me go to this router, command line interface. All right. Okay, sorry. Right, so I just go to the global configuration mode. Uh, and then I will enter the faucet Ethernet 0, 0 interface. And from here, I'm going to put the, I will configure my IPv6 address like this, IPv6 address. And then I type 2001, colon, all right. Okay, so, and at the end, ABCD with slash 64 to specify the prefix length. After I'm done, I just have to bring the uh, interface up by typing no shutdown, right? So now everything is okay. So if I go back again and type show IPv6 interface brief, interface brief, now I can see the IPv6 address assigned to faucet and 0, 0 of the router as well as the link local IPv6 address. By default, it's already assigned to my router. Uh, all right, having said so now, I come back to PC0, and from PC0, I try to ping the router and see if ping is successful. I type ping, then I specify the IPv6 address like this, okay? And I put the uh, interface ID of the router. You see now, it's replying, it is replying. Who is replying in this case? It is the router. So I successfully established communication with my router. Now from PC0, I ping PC1, and I know the interface ID of PC1 is two, so I just replace uh, interface ID by two, type enter, now it is replying. So now in this example, we have seen how to set up or how to configure static IPv6 addresses to hosts and routers. That's a piece of cake. Now, I might decide for some reasons that will be obvious later, uh, to assign a different um, IPv6 address to a router. So I put this, for example, just for the sake of example, and instead I put ABCD, okay, let's agree on that. So the interface ID ABCD will be assigned to the router, okay, through, through this example. Now, wha what I will do is I go back to the router zero, I access the interface first Ethernet zero zero, and then I assign to it an IPv6 address. The same story. 2001, colon, or twos, this group. Okay, twos. Right, and finally I put ABCD, the interface ID, with the, with the prefix length. All right, okay. Now let's see the, um, the interface, the IPv6 addresses assigned to my uh, interface. Okay, when I type this, you see, how many IPv6 interfaces are assigned now to the fast Ethernet 0, 0 interface? Two, okay? So this, this shows you that uh, you can assign more than one IPv6 address to your, your device which supports IPv6 addressing. So I can assign one, two, three, four, depending on your IP addressing strategy. But you see there is always a single link local uh, IPv6 address. Uh, is it, can we see the link local address from the PC? If I type this IP config, let's see that. You see, in IP config, it shows you the link local uh, IPv6 address, which is FE80 double column one. It is exactly uh, the same as the one that we configured. Um, so if I type help, and with help, I can see this uh, uh, IPv6, IPv6 and config like this. So here it gives you the IPv6 address. Now this link local IPv6 address, this will be your IPv6 address to be used to communicate uh, with other hosts. And this is a default gateway IP address. Now the difference between link local and uh, the global IPv6 address assigned here, link local IPv6 address will be limited only to the segment. So if host PC0 wants to communicate with PC1 or router zero only through this interface. In that case, PC0 will use link local uh, address of router zero or PC1 to reach this these nodes. But if PC0 wants to communicate with a host on a different network using IPv6 address, so in that situation, PC0 will be obliged to use the global 
uh, IPv6 address which is assigned to it. So remember, link local, which starts with this prefix, is limited only to the segment where the host is connected. Link local will be limited here, and some routing protocols will communicate using link local IPv6 address because their communication is restricted to the segment where they are connected. Now, uh, other services or other types of communication will cross routers. So in that case, the node will not use link local IPv6 address, but it's going to use the IPv6 address which is assigned to it, and it should be a global uh, IPv6 address, which means a routable IPv6 address. All right, so this is the, the portion about the uh, IPv6 address, or let's say the static assignment, the static assignment of IPv6 address okay so next part I will talk about other ways of assigning IPv6 address to uh, a computer okay so thank you for viewing this video